Hello, are you thinking about maybe making a move to the Greenville, South Carolina area? Well, stay tuned for this video in which you will learn all kinds of tips and tricks on how to make the move in the best way. We're on the Liberty Bridge on a beautiful fall day and this bridge overlooks Falls Park and the Reedy River. So enjoy this tour and I hope you get a lot out of it and like and subscribe to the video. Make sure you share it with friends. Thanks. Hi there, this is Sherry Hayes with All Things Home Upstate South Carolina. My husband Rich and I own a local home building company here called Hayes Homes Incorporated and I am a realtor with North Group Real Estate. I'm also an interior designer. So our company offers multiple levels of services for our clients. Um, we actually can help people find land and build or help you after you've found land to custom build a home here. Um, we help people sell homes, sell property, uh, also find existing homes. So there are multiple levels of things that we can do for you. Um, since I've started my YouTube channel, I just want to say that I've had tremendous support. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell for future videos. It means a lot to me because it helps to push the content out there for more viewers. So a lot of the people that come in to work with us are from out of town. Um, we do work with local people as well, but if you're coming in from out of town, let's say California or Idaho or New York, um, you may be flying in. So I want to give you just a little bit of a glimpse of where you'd be flying into if you've never been here before. Um, we have a wonderful airport that is an international airport. Greenville Spartanburg Airport is in the middle of Greenville and Spartanburg. It's a beautiful day here at Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. Just wanted to show you what you might see as you are flying into Greenville for the very first time. It's a very nice, small airport, easy to navigate. And car rental is actually located in this parking This is our airport security area, TSA pre-check, yep here. It's really not hard to get through Greenville Spartanburg Airport. Fairly simple to do it, so check uh, online to see how soon you would have to check in uh, or be here for your flight. So rental car is right here by the baggage claim area. Reservation. 
that would be a run across from I can see that there are rental offices over here in garage A. Several that you can choose from. So this would be the area where people could stop and wait for your flight to get in if you know someone here in Greenville that's picking you up. And the parking lot just beyond that covering down there used to be economy parking, but now it is valet parking. Just a tip if you haven't been here in a while, um, it is only valet parking. The parking garage is paid parking, but economy parking has moved out to lots that you're probably going to have to take a shuttle to get over to the airport. Very close to Greenville Spartanburg Airport is one of our largest manufacturers here in the upstate, and that is BMW. And I just wanted to mention that if you're in the area and looking for something interesting to do, there is a museum here at the Centrum at BMW, and you can also schedule a tour to go through the factory. And it is a huge facility out here, very close to Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. Um, there are a lot of businesses in the upstate that are connected to BMW. Um, I won't be able to possibly name them all, but there's a lot of work opportunity in the upstate related to manufacturing and specifically BMW. But there are many companies looking to relocate and move to the upstate because of different tax advantages and cost advantages of doing business here. So this is inside the BMW Centrum over here near GSP Airport and it is free to go through this museum. Um, really cool cars here and then you can take a tour of the factory. I think she said it was $25, $20, somewhere in that range. You may want to call and schedule that in advance. Um, so this is inside the BMW Centrum, showing some of the history of BMW. More here of the BMW Centrum, which is in Greer, South Carolina, right by the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. And you can take a tour of the facility over here. Okay, so the next question that I get asked a lot is where should I stay when I'm visiting? And there are some different options depending on what your, what your plans are. If you're just coming for a few days and you're visiting, then I would recommend probably a hotel or an Airbnb. Um, there are some beautiful hotels downtown, including the Grand Bohemian Hotel, which has just opened up in Falls Park near Liberty Bridge and we'll be showing you that. And then there are several other hotel options downtown and around Greenville that are beautiful hotels. Um, as our city is continuing to expand and um, just do a great job with uh, building parks and recreation areas. And also as new industry is coming in here, we are having more and more uh, visitors to the Greenville area. Um, many different magazines are advertising the area for visitors, for looking at fall leaves, um, just visiting Greenville as a tourist. So it depends on why you're here. If you're just exploring the area, you've never been here before, probably you're going to want to stay in a hotel or maybe an Airbnb. And we have also gotten attached to several groups that have Airbnbs in the area. Airbnbs are going to be scattered throughout the area, literally all over the place. And the options range from some that are under $100 to some that are, you know, up into the five, $600 range, um, just depending what you're looking at. And some may be more than that. Um, but if you're looking for a place to stay where you'll have some privacy, Airbnb is a great option. It could be a great option if you need to spend a few weeks here searching for a home. Um, another thing that we have just 
really become attached to and gotten some knowledge of is um, corporate and nurse housing uh, through Furnished Finder. So this is another website where you could book kind of an Airbnb situation, but have it a little more long term and maybe get a better rate on it. So some Airbnbs will rent by the month. So you just have to check that out. Um, the next option would be if you are moving here and you need some time to do your home search, you could sign a lease for an apartment or a longer term solution would be signing a lease for a home. Um, I would recommend that if you're thinking about custom building, because it usually takes about a year to custom build a, a nice size home, um, if not more. So that would be what you'd be looking at if you're really coming here with the intent to build your dream home. You're going to want to find a place that you can stay for a while, hopefully that's nearby the land that you're purchasing and the home that you're building. So this is Embassy Suites, downtown River Place. And you've got some great restaurants, Ruth Chris Steakhouse and up on the roof here at Embassy Suites at River Place. Okay, so this is the inside of Embassy Suites at downtown River Place with Ruth Chris Steakhouse entrance. Another great choice on a place to stay downtown with the view of the river. How do I see Greenville and understand how it works as far as uh, suburbs and where I might be interested in settling down? If you don't have a job, a church, a school, or, or shopping or something that is really, that you're really interested in that is going to tie you to a certain part of our area, then what I'm going to recommend that you do is look into several of our tours while you're here. There's actually a tour called the Get Moving Tour at makegreenvilleyours.com that you can book and that will take you through the downtown area and several suburbs um, to just give you a general feel for the area and some of the history on our city. Um, it's a wonderful tour and there are different times and different prices on different tours that you can choose from there. There's also uh, some wonderful places to visit while you're here. Our Greenville Zoo uh, downtown would be a great place to go. Uh, the Children's Museum is a great place to visit and we have a history museum. And here we are at the Greenville Cabela and this is the inside of our Cabela's.
So do you think you might be ready to make a move to the upstate of South Carolina? Well, South Carolina has some absolutely beautiful places to live. Finding the right realtor or home builder that services the area you're interested in is important. Explore the different parts of the upstate during your visit to narrow down your home or property search area. Northern Greenville County to Spartanburg County is gonna include areas like Traveler's Rest, Taylor's, Greer, Lyman, Landrum, Duncan, and Campobello. These areas are in our foothills with some lakes and mountain views. Southern Greenville County is going to be a little more flat heading toward Columbia because you're lowering in elevation. Malden, Simpsonville, Five Forks, they're gonna be busier with more subdivisions and shopping and more people work in these areas. Piedmont and Fountain Inn are developing but you may find more property available the further out from Greenville you search. Easley and Pickens, well, I consider these areas a little more rural, but there are nice subdivisions and shopping. Easley is about 30 minutes west of Greenville, heading toward Clemson. Cities like Anderson, Seneca, Clemson, Lawrence, Greenwood, and Spartanburg are all about 45 minutes to one hour from Greenville. So it's really important to make sure you know where you wanna shop or build so we can see if we can help you or if we need to refer you to someone that works in that area. Well, thank you for taking the time to spend with us today on all things home upstate South Carolina. We certainly do appreciate our community of subscribers and viewers. And if you would, just make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, share the video because that helps us get the algorithm up there where people can see this information. If you know somebody that's interested in it, then they'll benefit from it too. And if you're planning a trip to Greenville or you're planning a move to Greenville, reach out to us. We will put all the information in the description below so that you can contact us and you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We'll put those links as well. And we hope you have an amazing day. Enjoy your visit and we look forward to meeting you soon. Thanks.